were lucky enough to have the opportunity to work on another very big Netflix project right before with Witcher. You know, it's just, it's one episode, but did having that experience on that set and seeing how it operated, did you find that that experience, I guess, coming in handy when you hit the Viking set? Absolutely. For me to be able to work on a show of that scale was incredible. The thing that I think I take away from it the most is working with Henry Cavill. I think he 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 taught me so much on how a number one, you know, should behave. He, even though I came in, you know, I have only like two little scenes with him. Um, it was incredible to see a, a star of that, you know, of that magnitude for me coming in and being this random, you know, Swedish actress. The way that he was so collaborative, he was really, you know, very, very sweet about, would you mind if I change this line? Do you want to run the scenes together? Making sure that everyone on the set's comfortable, making sure that everyone knows his name, that he knows their names. I think that was really um eye-opening for me because you hear from you know coming from Sweden you hear so many stories about oh all of these Hollywood actors and they're just in their trailers with their massage therapists and they're so horrible and then to meet this man who is like not only the most talented and gorgeous man but just such a lovely person um, that was a big inspiration for me and I hope that I can bring those qualities to set and make sure that everyone that work on my set feel seen feel like they're a creative partner and um yeah, that's that's what I'm, I took away from that the most. I'm just sitting here complimenting you nonstop, but like that kind of attitude is going to wind up making you one of my favorites going forward. I love hearing that about Henry and how you're taking that and running with it. I don't know if you have the answer to this particular question about Witcher, but I'm just wondering when you're doing scenes like that for your own head, do you need to make the decision whether that was really his mother in the flesh or if it was a, a dreamlike state? I guess, you know, that's that's my decision and it's not really about... I feel like when you're acting, you know, you always make your own decisions that are your internal decisions to make the scenes make sense and to make the acting or the decisions and the intentions real and realistic for you. It it has to come from yourself. I can't go and be like, oh, well, I'm gonna play this so, because he's, he is dreaming me this way. Um, to me, I was there playing his mother who you know wanted to, to find some sort of peace, some sort of way for us both to let go of the horrible things that have happened. So that's the way I came across it. Was I real? I'm not sure, to me I was. <laughs> 